weep, grana weep, ninny bong, and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. And today in the booth, uh, I've got a first for my channel, so this is the first ever time that I'll be uh, reviewing an X Transbot figure. Uh, this is from their line for their version of Menasaur, which is called Monolith. Uh, this is Overheat, which is their version of Dragstrip, who of course is from the Stunticons. Um, he's a six-wheeled type race car. Uh, and I was, I've had to do a little bit of investigation. Obviously, if you're a Transformers fan, you know there's quite a few versions of Menasaur and Stunticons out at the moment. Um, I decided to go with this X Transbot version. So let's see uh, if it's worth the hype. But first off, who is Dragstrip? aka overheat so he is absolutely obsessed with winning uh his drag strip it forms the arm of menasaur as you can see he's a six wheeled race car and he was correct created uh, i think it's part of season two of uh, Transformers G1 uh, and he's this is an incredible figure it's one of my favorite alt modes of all time uh, so I can't wait to start to dig into this review so let's get cracking start with the box art as we always like to start with on this channel the box has a really nice picture of overheat aka drag strip uh, here with some lightning and everything around him uh, we can see that he has it's all uh, really nicely done and then it's kind of laminate finish over the top of it so it's screen printed on uh, and then some background detail in there. No name on the front of the box, uh, but it has this beautiful artwork on the side in really nice italic writing or sort of calligraphy. Italic, I guess it's italic. It's shifted over to the side. If everything seems under control, you're not going fast enough. I'm not sure if he ever said that in a cartoon or anything, but it seems it seems appropriate for this figure. And then on the side we have X Transbot Master X series. So he's 86 MX. Uh, I guess that's 86. Uh, he's a Berserker Warrior because these guys are called the Berserkers. So their version of Stunticons is Berserker. And then we have Overheat and then the nice X Transbots logo who have been going since 2008. So then we come round to the side and we have some really nice uh, looking artwork here on the side. And then we have a character bio. Hasbro Tank Note. Please bring character bios back. We need them. Uh, then we have here, we have something that all G1 fans will remember. Uh, we have this uh, kind of infrared um, character uh, strengths, intelligences, so all of their stats. So you can take your red viewfinder that you get with your Earthrise figures now and you can wipe it over it and you can start to see. Uh, the difference and where he sits with everything so that's pretty cool you can use your earthrise uh, visors for other things and then on the side we have a little qr code we also have really nice uh, artwork there a picture of the alt mode warning product and packet made in china x transbots facebook and everything they're really um cool on there uh, i've had a couple of chats with actually with x transbots on their facebook recently as well um so that's quite nice they're, they're very active on there on the back we have a kind of a, an outline of the artwork from the front here so that's quite nice and that's it for the outer packaging so really nice i like that pack um, we also get a little character bio card as well so the, the side of the box that was here is replicated here on a really nice laminate card uh, similar to what i got with power base uh, and actually what i got with hot soldiers bumblebee as well check out my reviews on those guys if you've not seen them and it's just a uh, full-on version of what we get here this artwork's really really nice but nice little collector's card uh, laminate collector's cards uh, we also get the destructions uh, for me 
not a fan of the destructions for this. Uh, not the best uh, stage to stage instructions on this one, I'll be honest. And I also really don't like the book format, especially on this one. It's quite a tight book. So when you're transforming it, you kind of open it and then you go, oh, right, I do that bit. And then by the time you've got it round and you want to see if you've got it right, it's, it's closed again. But yeah, I mean, it, it's okay. You know, you, you get through it. But and maybe after I've done it a few times, the, the spine will break on this a little bit. But yeah, you get some, some nice destructions here. Uh, like I say, not the, the easiest to follow. But then you also get uh, some pictures in here of uh, the other bots in the series. Uh, you actually get some pictures here of, this looks like the, the, the G2 color versions here that you can get from the different ones. Uh, and it also says about how to, to change the faces because we get some different faces here as well. Time for the main event. Overheat, AKA drag strip and wow, this is a beaut. This is an absolutely beautiful alt mode. Uh, he rolls really, really nicely on all six of his wheels, even on my kind of slippery plastic service that I have here. The detailing on this is a thing of beauty. You can see the engine block here. Uh, the engine block is uh, really, really neat detailed. Lots of molded detailing on the figure itself really nice chunky uh rubberized tires so these are rubber tires they've got no grip on them just like racing car should and uh, he's got the little driver inside which is pretty cool he, his head doesn't move or anything he just sits there uh you got the more rubberized wheels at the front uh you've got really nice looking uh little red uh, bits here on the side that uh, are really nice little tips to the just set off the inside bit and um, the transformation is disguised so nicely uh, this kind of has the feel to me of a kind of like a, a scale electric car so you know you, you can put it on a race and it looks like it looks like it would just go and it has that kind of feel to it it's got a really nice weight to it um, there's not a lot of die cast in it, but there is some die cast. Like this is this is die cast. Um, but overall, this is an incredible looking drag strip. Uh, like I say, one of my favourite alt modes of all time, and this is definitely the best version I've ever seen of this alt mode. Absolutely beautiful. Accessory wise, he does come with a little gun. Uh, that has this sliding uh, end to it and you can actually attach this when he's in this mode if you so wish uh, you just flip that round you can flip this in like so and then you just peg it in here just at the back and he can have his gun here if you so wish time for some comparisons and as he's a combiner let's try and uh, compare him to some of the combiners that i actually have at the moment so the first combiner that i have would be the mbk devastator so we'll take Mixmaster from there. Uh, so this is how he compares to the NBK Mixmaster Devastator. Uh, I mean, you can see the quality and the detailing on this one is just next level. Um, Size-wise, uh, I guess they're uh, reasonably good. I guess they, they size fairly well together on there. This one certainly has the height. Maybe this one could do with being a little bit bigger, uh, but they do scale quite well together but you can just see that the quality difference there and then next to the waging uh predaking rampage so we can see how he uh tallies up against that so we can see rampage is much bigger um but again the quality on this guy is just absolutely phenomenal um but lengthwise because these actually both can, uh, create arms for the combiners we can actually see that they're both very similar in lengthwise so the length of the arms on eventually would probably be quite similar on the Weijang Predaking and the X-Trans bots 
and then bring out uh, Masterpiece Optimus Prime, see how they scale together, and yeah, they scale quite nicely, I suppose. Uh, again, this one is a lot taller, so together uh, they look pretty good. Quality between the two of these is very similar within detail and everything. Obviously, this is Hasbro Masterpiece, and this is the uh, X Transbots Masterpiece. They look extremely good together. And then again, just to bring us up to where we are now with everything, this is how he compares to the Earthrise version of Prime. So you can see he's a much he's on a much bigger scale, so he wouldn't fit in with your Siege, Earthrise, current uh, mainline products. Transformation time. So the first thing you're going to want to do is lift up the front here and just take out this little driver. Have an opportunity to have a little look at him. Nice yellows and reds. Uh, obviously, he's just molded detail. Nothing moves, no articulation, but he doesn't need to. Then once you've taken this out, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the top here and you're just going to fold this whole thing back on itself like so which reveals his heat straight away uh, then we're going to pull this up and we're also going to pull this up just so these are out uh, then we can then we just move this out a little bit, unclip that, and then everything can just come out the back there. So you've got the two arms hanging out the back. Once you brought everything out the back, these pieces here are just going to slide forwards and slide forwards like so. And then you've got your arms here at the back and you can just kind of unfold these arms. Like so and then fold the other arm down as well like so yeah and then they just tab in on either side so you've got his arms down then you're gonna want to come back up to the top here uh, and you're gonna just unhook the wheels like so to just detach them and just keep them out of the way so you can start to really work on this back piece here uh, because what's going to happen here is this is just going to come all the way down here down here uh, like so then you're going to look to just separate these pieces here So, and you're going to bring everything else together so it's kind of, oops, sorry, turn this down, turn this down, and this down like so. So it's down and it's all out the way here. And at this point, you're gonna wanna just swing the head and everything out so that his arms can, there we go, just unfold like that. Pretty cool part of the transformation that the arms uh, actually turn around like that. Once you've got everything transformed there, so once you have everything lined up like this and you're ready to get this to go, this is kind of where the instructions do fail a little bit uh, because they don't quite show you how to crumple all of this into the back and it goes in really nicely but it does take a little bit of wrangling to get it done. Um, one of the main things you need to do once you've transformed this and got these into this position, uh, you can move these out and then move them in like so, so that they kind of peg around this peg here so you can see that they just tab in there and then you're good to go from from this point of view but then you've got this piece here now just be careful with this um, some people have had this 
piece breaking. Mine does this quite easily. Maybe it's because it's one of the, the you know, this, I know this figure's been out for a while now, so maybe they fixed this. But just be careful because you will need to fold this up like so. Uh, so just make sure that yours is going to do it. Uh, you may need to shave some plastic off if this is going to cause you a problem. And then we're going to collapse all of this into the back. So what we do is we kind of push it down and then it just kind of goes in and just kind of collapses in on itself. It can take a little bit of like so. Oh, there we go. Nicely done, my friend. Nicely done. So step one for the torso is to separate these like so, so that we've got his legs just separated out like this. Uh, once we have separated the legs like so, we're going to actually just bring these two pieces here around and down. Uh, be careful during the transformation. I mean, these are quite strong, but you can see that they are. You wouldn't want these to bend because it is quite tight the way that they fit together, and it's a very small little hole here. So you just need to be very careful of these two pieces as we go around. Then you've got his little engine block here that will just fold out, fold the two pieces in, lift up the bit here where the driver was before, and that just fits into there and you put that down so you can see that his chest piece is transformed now and step one on the legs is a full 180 degree turn on his waist so you've got that full 180 degree turn on the waist that's the first thing you're going to want to do so that all the gubbins are on the back and you've got this kind of smooth plastic finish on the front at this point we're gonna come around here and we're gonna move out this panel here and this panel here just to expose all the pieces that are actually underneath here then at this point there's a buckle that we need to open up which is actually here on the side so we just need to open up the buckle there and open up the buckle on the other side which will then loosen up everything that we need to do on these legs you can then fold out his ah, knees here and here as well so that folds out his knees which is just going to leave these to just kind of come down so then once we've got the legs stretched out we're going to come around the back and we're going to work on these tires just try and move this out a little bit um because you don't really want the tire uh scratching up against this you don't want to damage this nice black tire finish stretch it out a little bit be very careful there obviously there's not much clearance between the tire and the back so you can stretch both of these out and then once you once you've got the tires out like so you need to push out this one and then we can push out this side as well and you're going to bring the tire in again making sure that it doesn't scratch up too much on the side of this piece here uh, bring the tire in so it just sits nicely behind this plastic piece here and then the same on the other side it will just kind of fold in on itself behind that plastic piece there which is great and then you're just going to want to tab in the leg so you bring them round and then you have that that tab here just sits on a little tab here and then these also tab in as well a little difficult to actually find the tabs tab in the leg first and then just find the hole for this one Ooh. The knee is quite stiff to actually find the tab on, but we will find it. There we go. There's the, the, the tab for the knee. And then we come around to this side. This leg's tabbed in, so we just tab the old knee in here as well. Yep. So, and then come around the back, and he's got these little, little bits around here. Uh, and then just to tidy up his back area here, bring this round, bring this round, and then this will just go in between there and there, uh, like so. 
So you can give him that free range of movement then. And then you bring his arms down and his feet down. And there he is. Time for the main figure. Let's have a look at Overheat, aka Drag Strip, in his full on robot mode and all his beautiful, beautiful yellowness. And wow, this figure really blows me away, even just looking at him in this form. Uh, transformation, as you can see, is quite an interesting transformation. Uh, really nice parts to it, quite fiddly, kind of around the back area here but overall really really nice transformation just the instructions are a little bit uh challenging uh so you may need to uh to get some assistance from some youtube videos or something just to make sure that uh, the back goes okay um but overall this figure just looks absolutely beautiful um have a look at his head here the head sculpt is a really nice version of the drag strip head uh, you can actually get some ver some more g1 looking versions of all of these and actually some g2 ones you can combine now as well in g2 colors and um, but i'm maybe going to get one of the g1 style ones uh just for one of the legs but uh, this is that like their own take on it and the head sculpt here is really nice i like this orange the, the visor looks beautiful on it we can also see here now all the molded detail on the engine that just looks fantastic he looks like he's just stepped straight out of uh, the g1 cartoon nice molded detail here on the hands and we'll look at the articulation in a second we come down the legs it's just smooth yellow finish and then we come around the back and there's still a lot of detail around the back you know we've got these these detail in here on the legs uh, from the engines we can see this we've got these that help with the balance and then we've got the, the bit nice big fat molded wheels here at the bottom overall figure looks absolutely fantastic let's have a look at the articulation on this guy articulation on a head head is on a ball and you can get a full 360 rotation really nice up and down you can get some really good poses just at the head and you can get some little side tilt there as well arms 360 degree you can get really nice posability out of here as well right at the top if you move the wheels you can get more rotation at the elbow and then you can get a nice bend here as well and the hands also do articulate as well so round and open and you got a little do the fingers articulate separately no the fingers don't articulate separately but the whole hand articulates like that as well oh no the finger does no nope, that was the thumb so yeah that's the that's the the hand articulation that we have here on the waist you can get a full 360 on the waist obviously due to the transformation uh, then you've got uh, a leg swivel here at the hips you've got a nice bend you've got no ratchets apart from on the um elbow here but you've got no ratchets here at the hips to help but it does it is very stable when it does that and then you have some toe articulation here and down and then you've got this little heel here that just helps with the balance for him as always can this guy actually do his ninja kicks i think this guy can probably do a ninja kick let me just make sure i've not got that assembled correctly so if i assemble this just correctly maybe he can't maybe not I don't think my my new studio helps very much with them doing these ninja kicks so he can't really ninja kick unfortunately um, but oh, his posability is really really good he's got some fantastic posability here um, in and around you can put him in pretty much whatever position you want uh he's really really poseable you get some really nice shots off on him and yeah he looks absolutely fantastic so he'll look awesome on your shelves uh, accessory wise he comes with his little gun the one that we brought out before and that just flip it up that's just got a little peg here and you hold his hand out like so and then you just slide this into the peg at the back 
this can be a real challenge to get in as well um, to make sure the hand is fully there and then this just slides in like that yeah so we got in and there he can hold his gun like so so that's really nice uh purple gun as is uh the way that it always has been with him uh and then it's really nice it's quite shiny and he'll just hold that using the peg in his hand uh, he also comes with two separate faces uh, just get them out of the box so he comes with a bottom piece here so if I want him to have uh, more of a kind of sterner mouth I can stick that in there on the back and then he also has a completely different face here if I wish to have that instead of the visor, but I really like this visor look on him. And for comparison, again, let's start with the combiner comparison. So Mixmaster from the MBK Devastator, uh, he is a similar size. Obviously he's a lot thinner than this guy. Uh, So Mixmaster, uh, a lot taller just due to the, 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 the stuff that's kind of hanging around on him. Um, but overall, he's, uh, he's pretty good. He's got a pretty nice um, height to him. But obviously the quality on this guy is just miles better. Then next up, I will bring out Rampage from the Weijiang Predator King line. And as we can see, he's a, they're a similar height, kind of. These are both arms again, but you can just see the difference in quality. So price range, this guy is actually more expensive than the whole of the Predator King from the Weijiang line. And you can really see now where the money is going with regards to detail. For the next comparison, we'll bring out Masterpiece Prime. Uh, and we can see here, Masterpiece Prime, much, much bigger uh, in this case, but they do look fantastic together. Not sure how they scale together. Can't remember the scaling really from the, the G1 cartoon, but they look pretty nice together. Then finally, we bring out Earth Rise Prime. And we can see he's a very similar size to Earthrise Prime. There, they scale fairly well together. Um, you can see so the all of these figures for the monolith, the X Transbots monolith, are all pretty much Voyager class, apart from I believe Gravestone, who is. Uh, going to be a little bigger he's their version of motor master so now all that remains is my final recommendation and would i recommend that you go out and buy this one and um, this is my first x trans bot figure and i am extremely impressed with the quality of this guy the transformation is nice it's interesting it's fun yeah it's a little challenging uh especially with regards to the way that the instructions are but other than that i have no complaints about this figure everything tabs in really well he looks amazing he feels great i can't wait to get the rest of this set um as a first x transbot toy i am very 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 impressed with this one um can't speak for the other stunticons out at the moment but if you are thinking of picking up this one then i highly recommend it i would actually say and i was thinking about this before this is probably now my favorite figure within my entire collection um because i think one yellow is one of my favorite colors two 
it's one of the, my favorite alt modes of all time and secondly you know the bot mode now is also fantastic as well amazing figure well done to x transbots guys if you're in the market to pick this up i would definitely recommend this and if you like what i'm doing around here please guys give us a like share and subscribe and i'll see you on my next video in a bit peace